What is up guys, it is I, Jane Poop here, and I'm just going to go for a quick update to this channel. So, first things first, hopefully this might be the last update video since uh, obviously I've got over 500 subscribers now, I can pretty much update you guys with posts, and I can even give you votes on what I should do next or what you like and such and all that. Uh, so, it's unknown if I'll do update videos in the future or not, but I'll have to see. Uh, I'll get to more of that later. First off, uh, for rating versus rating, my own series, original series, uh, I'm officially announcing that uh, those episodes will not release, no episodes will release in August. Not even, not even compilation sets. Or complete sets, I think uh, I called them. Uh, none of them will come out in any day on August. They will go out in every other month, though. So, uh, mostly because August is the holidays and such. And uh, I do spend time making them in August sometimes, but uh, but I won't release them in August. I'll just release them like September time. We'll start releasing new ones. Uh, so that's for rating versus rating, uh, and. Next up for my, uh, uh, what I announced, uh, on one of my posts, uh, originally I wanted to make, uh, how to hack and jailbreak console videos, where you would take a system and then add custom firmware onto it, and then boom, I was originally going to make tutorials based on that. But then, sadly, I decided to not do that, because, uh, of various things, such as, there are many people doing these videos, so you could just watch their videos, they're probably better than me. Uh, second, hacking can con sometimes cause bricks to your system, so yeah, your system is fucked after all of that, so... Yeah. Uh, if, if you don't do it correctly, so... Uh, uh, thirdly, a lot of consoles have updatable firmware. And updatable firmware, uh, you might think it might add stuff to the menu or improves the system ability. It also sometimes circumvents hacking. And that is not a joke, unfortunately. Although sometimes it can also, if, if the console supports Blu-ray, for example, uh, it'll need to be updated a lot for, uh, for more keys, so then they can, up they can update it every year. And that's only, that's for just for Blu-rays. <laughs> For films on Blu-ray. No idea why they have to update it a lot, but eh. But sometimes they can sneakily put in a patch to circumvent hacking in them, so... That's that. That's why I'm not doing hacking videos anymore. I was going to, and I was going to do it on, like, my... Uh, when I get a Japanese Wii, I would do it on that, and have Japanese Wii U. I even originally recorded all of the footage for my Wii U one, but since I cancelled hacking videos, I deleted them, so you can't see them. Uh, so that's that. And then for playthroughs, it's unknown if I'll ever make update videos again, but uh, for playthroughs, it'll obviously be of my choice, but I'm still going to do the ones that I've announced. I'm still going to do Resident Evil 5 in August, Resident Evil 6 in October, though I might I might think of actually doing it in August or September, but then release them in October, so then Halloween time and such. As for other releases, I have no clue. Um, it might still be Mario games, uh, maybe a couple of Mega Man games, because uh, I've been starting to do more Mega Man games this year as well, sort of. Uh, mostly to get things out of the way. Uh, Hopefully, if I can if I can get an Xbox One X, I can hopefully do Mega Man Eleven because that supports 4K, and I don't really have 4K TVs yet, but I will be getting one for my birthday. So, yeah, um, because if I play some games in 4K, it'll have better resolution and such, and, and enhancements, um, and all that. So, uh, I forgot what to say now, let me think. So when I do turn 18 this August, which, um, um, uh, at, at, at the day after my birthday, which is the 5th of August, uh, will be posthumous videos 
uh, my playthroughs that I created when I was still 17. Uh, I'm still 17 when I'm recording this, actually, believe it or not. And, um, so, one of them is Mega Man on Game Gear, which is really bizarre, which I've done. I've done that, but it's unknown what other games I'll do. Uh, they'll most likely be small, not like, not like games that take days to finish or something like that. Um, uh, they'll probably just be, like, really small games or something, or, or games that do take a while to, to complete, but not, like, days, or, like, it's not like 168 hours to finish it or something. <laughs> That's a week um, and all that. Um, but yeah, most likely those games. And then I'll start Resident Evil 5 the day after my birthday. So I can just get on with Resident Evil and such. Because y'all know how much I like Resident Evil and such. And other things from Capcom and all that. Um, so... Um, now here's a question that a couple of people have been like uh, saying to me publicly, not to not like uh, anyone in the comments. I don't think anyone said that in the comments, but in real life, will I ever show my face? Uh, maybe, but obviously not now. Maybe not this year. Uh, in the future, perhaps. But right, right now, no. Uh, just want it. You can just keep my identity secret, punks. Um, all right, that, that was so mean, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I might show my face eventually, and uh, but just not right now, uh, uh, and all that. Uh, uh, although this is not a question that people have asked me, will I live stream someday? I might live stream, but right now, no. Uh, but I just. Uh, I'm not sure if I should live stream or not because there are plenty of risks when live streaming, believe it or not, such as swatting, when the police go up to your house for no fucking reason, and uh, they might even arrest you for no fucking reason. So, <laughs> so fuck that. Um, so I might, but it's a bit risky. I'll have to decide on that. All right, here's another update that I will be making to my playlists. So, if you read carefully on the playlists I make for the, my playthrough playlists, specifically, you'll notice the, the game's title, obviously, the year it came out, then then in brackets, the year it came out, dash what consoles it's on, uh, it, uh, the short, uh, short note, and then by J and Poop, and then the year that those videos were made, so either 2020, 2021, 2022, or 2023, etc. Um, uh, if I make new videos on that particular game on a different year, then I will add dash the other year. So if I make, let's say, let's say I did, I did Super Mario Bros. 1, the original NES, this year in 2023, but I might make a new video of it in 2024, uh, and I want to put it in the playlist, so then I put it in the playlist, and then... I'll put 2023 dash 2024, for example. Uh, hopefully there won't be any other videos on Super Mario Bros. original, but... <laughs> Alright, uh, but uh, as an example, yeah, that's it. Because uh, I might think of doing that to certain Mega Man games, where uh, I have, like, additional things to show off and all that. Um, and everything like that, so... But also, if I could consider playing, like, a different version of the game, so, for example, with uh, Mega Man X3, for example, I've played it on Legacy Collection, and that is based on the Super Nintendo version, the SNES Super Famicom version. But there's also a PlayStation and Sega Saturn and PC version, which has slightly different, that has different music, it has, like, CD quality music and such. So if I do games like that, I could, I'll just put them in the same playlist. I don't know if I'll do a CD version of Mega Man X3, though, but still. Um, but still, it might be worth it um, to give it a go. Uh, this will also be the case for games that are multi-platform uh, back in the days that are very different. So basically, like, movie-based games, for example, they have, like, an NES version, a Super Nintendo version, a Genesis version, or Mega Drive version, and all that. With the same title, they're basically like the same, just with slightly different graphics and such. I might put them all in one playlist, uh, but I'll name them differently uh, for the videos. So, 
that that's that might be the way it works uh, for those games uh but if it's like let's say Mario Golf and Mario Tennis for example on N64 and then Game Boy Color the they they're slightly different games on the, the different platforms despite the the same title uh I'll just have separate playlists for those but still 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 <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, one last thing I could mention here is that some of you might notice I've also made a archive.org account uh, where you can download my videos from there. Well, mostly my playthrough videos. Uh, I don't think I've uploaded any Brain vs. Rain videos on there yet or my showcase videos or such like that. Uh, one of the reasons I created an archive.org account is not only for those that just want to download my videos easily without a video converter, uh, which you would, uh, but I've also put them in zipped files, uh, so you can download all the videos in that series uh, instead of like doing it one by one. Oh, I want to download this one. I want to download this one. If you want to download them all, you can just click the zip file and then it downloads them all, and you just have to unzip it, and then boom, you got them all. Uh, uh. But the other, one of the other reasons I created an archive.org account is because back in February, um, one of my Donkey Kong Country videos got age-restricted, uh, meaning you would have to be 18 years old to view it, um, and signed in, of course, uh, and you cannot view it when you're under 18 or not signed in, or if you're using, like, other versions of YouTube, like, um, uh, I think YouTube Premium doesn't let you watch age restricted videos. I'm not sure, but or if you have restricted mode on and such, uh, you cannot view it. Um, so then I edited it to remove like because apparently it violated the nudity and sexual content policy, uh, and it could be the part at the end where I do the glitch. I thought it could be that. I removed it with the YouTube editor, then appealed it to make them remove the restriction. It got rejected. I think it's because um, they view the original version. They don't view the edited version, I think, or something like that. Uh, even though it's edited, I think they only view what you originally had um, and all that. So then it, then I thought it could be another part where I go to a boss and then it's on its butt and then I go smack his bottom. It could be that. That got the age restriction as well. Uh, maybe that also violated their policy slightly. Like, I didn't get a strike or anything, or even a warning. I haven't even got any yet. Uh, I just got an age restriction. Um, but I was not pleased with this, so I decided to re-upload the edited version and edit it more, and and then delete the original from YouTube. And then I've still, I still had the original on my hard drive files. So then later... I decided to create a archive.org account, and then I uploaded them there, so you, then you can watch the uncut version there, so, yeah, and I've done it with a couple of, I had to edit a couple of other videos as well, because they, uh, though they weren't age-restricted, they had, like, copyright claims on them, and although they weren't blocked in any country, uh, they could, like, uh, because I'm almost eligible to be monetized, right? Because I've got over a thousand subscribers. If your video has a copyright claim on it, not only you cannot, de uh, you cannot monetize your video, it will be monetized to the company that owns the copyright to it, but also you, won't also you also won't be able to use the Creative Commons license, which is, which is another thing you might have noticed on my videos. If you've uh, looked below, you'll see Creative Commons, that's the license. Uh, it'll just be a normal standard YouTube license if the video gets copyrighted. Uh, so even if you set it to, if you set the default to Creative Commons, it'll automatically go to standard YouTube license uh, if it gets copyrighted. Uh, no matter what sort of copyright it is. So it obviously claims, but if it's like not blocked in any country and you just get a claim, you still don't have the license. Uh, it will be the same if it's blocked in some countries. Uh, that's another reason I decided to remove the copyrighted content and then have the copyrighted version on 
uh, the archive.org if you want to watch those versions. Um, it's so... Because they might change their mind. They might think, oh, it's not blocked in any countries now. But later, it is blocked in some countries. Yeah. It has happened with uh, one of my videos before. One of my region comparison videos, which I don't really make videos on anymore. I, I don't know if I'll have to stop that series, but... Uh, because I don't really make them, but... what? Um, it's my Earthbound, a uh, Mother 2 one, specifically. Uh, and I got a copyright claim on it for the intro part, the... The War Against Gygus, or Gygus Strikes Back part, for the music. And at first it wasn't blocked in all countries, but then the claim changed, so it's blocked in some countries. I noticed partially blocks on it. Uh, so then I just decided to mute the song. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so then everyone can see it. Because I wish everyone... Because I want everyone to see my videos, not just, like, a couple of people and all that. Uh... So, yeah, that's why uh, I sometimes take the copyright seriously. I have got a copyright claim removed once, though I didn't dispute it. it they act YouTube actually done it themselves. Uh, and it was one of my... I think Kirby's Dreamland 3 it was. Um, well, I got a copyright claim on it for a song that... Uh, for the credits theme, which is... Which is which is used, which is used the basis as one of... One of the other songs that you'll find on the internet. I forgot, I forgot what it was. But then later, in 2020, later in 2023, YouTube then removed the claim. Despite that video being like a year old now. <laughs> they decided to remove it. And I did not press dispute either. They just did it themselves. <laughs> so, because I got it from an email. And then it showed me. And they removed the claim. And I was like, Wow. Surprised they do they done that. Uh, but it's but there are still a couple of my other videos that have still got copyright claims onto them, uh, and you can tell if they have because they won't have the Creative Commons license. The only other videos I do not have the Creative Commons license on, and I just use the standard one, is my really old videos. You know where I use the shitty camera to record in front of it, and I use my real name to announce it, to announce who I am and such, and not my uh, username and such, and all that. Those are still the YouTube license, uh, mostly because, obviously, if anyone wishes to reuse them, uh, I expect that you pro you're probably a predator if you're doing that or something, but all right. Uh, but, but anyways, uh, yeah, because we know how pedophilia works in the countries. Uh, with young children and all that, and obviously, always illegal. And they'll probably still do it to those, even if they're old enough now, like I am. They'll still do it for the videos that are really old. So, yeah, that's why I'm not using the Creative Commons license on those. And it's just those videos, along with the copyrighted videos, but still. All of my other videos are Creative Commons, so... And I just decided to use that because it makes no difference really it just means you can reuse uh, content like i guess people reuse content that use the standard youtube license as well but that happens all the time uh, even without permission so uh but it, it's just telling you those that you can reuse my content and such without asking permission and such uh and all that so yeah Oh, God, that's a lot to explain in there. One last thing to mention before I end this update video. Um, uh, a couple of things. Um, if there are no uploads uh, in, uh, in a lot of days this year, that's probably because I might be in the process of moving house because the house I'm in right now is kind of shit, <laughs> to be honest. Um, uh, or... It's because I am doing videos still, but it's taken me a while to do them. Um, uh, it's like my, my Resident Evil 6 might take a, uh, a long time to do because how big the game is and how long it is. Um, so, yeah. And... Uh, or... Um, I forgot what to say now. Or it could be because I'm just a bit busy in a lot of other places, so... Uh, that would be why if you don't see any new uploads uh, for a while and such. Uh, th th this is also why 
I mostly make, let's say, I make like two videos in one day, but I release them in different days. So then, so even if I'm like, let's say, in college or something, uh, really busy there, uh, you guys can get to get, you guys get to watch my videos while I work and such. So, yeah, that's how I do my videos and such. So, I might, I, I might even make like three or four videos one day but release them in different days, uh, and then go busy on one day, and then have those video videos released on days where I'm busy, so... So then it keeps up the content, so... That's what I do. I, I'll probably do that a lot with Resident Evil 6, mostly, because that game is very long. It's like the longest Resident Evil game ever, uh, I gotta say. Because uh, you, have, you have four characters, right? But you have five chapters per character, and they're all different. And they take, like, about an hour to finish each one, if it's your first time playing. Um, so, if you're on the new game uh, for each, especially if you have no infinite ammo mode unlocked, and you have to beat all, all campaigns, all chapters in them to unlock infinite ammo. And obviously you won't have that at the start of the game if, if it's your first time playing, so... It's going to take a while, Resident Evil 6. It'll probably be, like, 20 videos. It might be at my longest series... Uh, aside from uh, Pikmin 2, of course, which is like 40 videos uh, of my old child videos, but still. Uh, I think Resident Evil 6 will be like the longest of my adult videos. <laughs> so, yeah, and I don't mean adult videos as sex videos. I mean like, <laughs> as in I'm an adult and such. I don't mean like, I, no, I do not I do not post porn on YouTube. If I did that, they'll probably, they'll probably kick me the fuck out. So... <laughs> They'll probably be like, fuck you, get out, go to porn up or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but still, um, uh, it'll probably take a while for me to do Resident Evil 6, because obviously it's long. I might not spend ages on 5, though, because Resident Evil 5 is, well, it is still hard, and uh, it, a bit long, but it's not that long. It's not like, it doesn't like take days to finish. Well, it might do for me, but I mean... Uh, especially if it's like, because I'm going to do it on Xbox One, uh, obviously, of uh, HD quality, same with RE6. Um, hopefully, if I can get an Xbox One X, I can replace the hard drive with a 2 terabyte SSD. So then, I can have not only faster performance, but also more memory on my Xbox One, pretty much. Uh, Xbox One X, when I get that. And I'll obviously have a Series X as well, for Series X enhanced games, uh, and such, so... I think that about covers up the update videos. It's uh, it it's unlikely if I'll make any update videos again in the future. Uh, uh, most of the updates will possibly be on my community posts, uh, and I'll also bring up votes for like, oh, what game should I do? Should I do this game, or should I do this game, or should I do this game, etc. And then the one with more votes uh, wins. What the one what, 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 you won't win money or something? I mean. You'll just have, uh, you'll just win what game I'll do, so, yeah, or what type of videos I'll make, so, uh, yeah, I might also make a post, I might also make a poll based on rating versus rating, on how I handle TV shows, because, uh, I might include TV shows in later videos, if I should do them by the show itself, or by season, of the show, so like season one of this show is like lower age rating, and then this season is higher age rating, or etc. Uh, and no matter the region, so I don't know if I should do it on that or based on just the entire show. Uh, so yeah, even if like most of the show is like let's say kid friendly, there's like one episode adult, uh, not kid friendly, and such. For example, uh, I might make a poll based on that to see your opinions. And, um, uh, the, the, the only other times I might have to make update videos is not only if I'm, like, announcing something big or something, but, but also if I'm, uh, if I've got a strike on my channel and I wouldn't be able to upload for a week, uh, and such, uh, or if I got a copyright strike and such. I don't know if I, about copyright strikes, but if I should do videos on them, but uh, I don't know. And uh, possibly 
to announce something major. So they're the only times I'll be making update videos, probably. I might not make update videos a lot. Most of my updates will just be on the community tab. So, so just look at them to see what updates you'll see and all that. Sometimes even funny posts a lot uh, that I that I can make. Like sometimes, yeah, I, I remember making that one about my galaxy bars. <laughs> a lot of my friends in my school, uh, my old school, love uh, love that picture. So, and they got really, they're, they're like. They got weird on me for the galaxy stuff, the galaxy shit and all that. Because it's Super Mario Galaxy I was doing. Um, uh, because obviously I wanted to combine Super Mario Galaxy with Chocolate Galaxy. And I did the same when I watched uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 in cinemas. <laughs> I literally bought some galaxy counters from Cineworld itself before watching the film. And yes, it was good. Or that, uh, and I was originally, uh, believe it or not, originally, I was going to make a, I was going to make a post, uh, which I ended up having to change, but I, I, my, my post on uh, Guardians 3 was originally, I was going to take a picture of the poster that is in Cineworld, then have counters in front of it. <laughs> So I took a pic. So I would have had a picture of both my counters, or whatever galaxy I would have had, in front of the Guardians Three poster. So, <laughs> but they didn't have that poster anywhere in the Chesterfield Cine World. So, because that's the one I went to to watch the film. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, they didn't have the um, uh, poster there. So they only had like the newer films available at the time. So. Yeah, so it didn't work out well, sort of, but, oh uh, well. Uh, but other posts I would make, um, uh, normally updates or uh, things. Uh, quite a lot about Sylvester Stallone as well. And you wonder why? Because I'm a huge fan of him. I'm a huge fan of his films, alright? <laughs> Don't complain about that. the fact that I post about Sylvester Stallone too much. I'm just a huge fan of him. So, that's why I post a lot about him. Uh, like, not only things from his channel, but also uh, the, his videos of him in general. So, yeah. That's why that's why you see a lot of posts about Stallone, because uh, I'm a huge fan. I like Rocky, I like Rambo. The Expendables is fucking awesome. I definitely recommend you watch that. I'm waiting for the fourth one to come out and all that. That's why I make posts about Stallone. He, I'm a huge fan. So... Uh, uh, update uh, uh, also posts about <laughs> what films, uh, new films have been rated by BBFC and such, and uh, well, certain films anyway, uh, and, and what old films have been re rated. So they had their rating changed and such. So, but other times that are, other times I will make updates on the posts uh, for my posts based on the actual channel itself. So, uh, all that, so, yeah. Um, and also about, other, maybe about other channels as well, like, I remember making a, making a post about one of my friends making a YouTube channel, and he uploaded some of his old Super Mario Maker 1 levels, and, and one Tomodachi Life base video, uh, the songs he made in that game, uh, I might need to make, I might need to make Tomodachi Life videos one day, maybe Tomodachi Collection as well on DS, I don't know. I could, I, if I did live stream, I could do uh, Tomodachi Collection and Tomodachi Life uh, on live streams um, rather than do them as normal videos. So then uh, it can, it will go out well. And I might, uh, uh, if I, when I do live stream, guys, I might make it so I'll also show the chat on the screen and not just uh, on the side. So then. The chat can be preserved in case it gets disabled in the future and such. Uh, because sometimes things like that happen. They might get disabled and all that. Especially if you edit the stream, it, it will disable the chat. So if you have it in the video, you keep it forever. You don't have to re-enter. You don't have to put them in the comment section. Or in. That's what Thumbs Up Master sometimes does, believe it or not. <laughs> he will literally put all of the chats... Um, including some of mine because I've I've joined a lot of his streams and um, in the comments, so yeah, 
And I bet it takes a long while, especially if, if especially if the stream is that long and there's been a lot of messages. <laughs> then yeah, so I'll probably include um, uh, the chat in on the action on the actual screen itself. So, uh, and if there are any inappropriate ones, I might have to apologize about that <laughs> because we know what many people like. Some people are okay. Some people are fucked up. <laughs> so, um. But that's pretty much about it for my update videos, guys. Uh, I don't know if I'll make more of these videos. If I do, then it's probably something major, like a, a community guideline strike I got or something. I've not gotten any yet, as of now. Not even a warning. Um, or if, uh, or if it's like something major, like uh, uh, I don't know. But it, it depends. It depends on circumstances. But a lot of times, I'll just. Um, uh, use the community tab. So, uh, quick brief on the updates. Rating versus rating videos will not be released in August on any year, not even the compilation sets. Um, uh, I've made an archive.org account, so you can download my videos from there. Uh, and even all of the same series, so all of one playthrough, by clicking just the zip file and not just individual videos. Uh, and also to watch uncut versions of certain videos if they've been like age restricted or if they had a copyright claim and I decided to remove the, those parts. Um, uh, most of my updates will be through the community tab and such. So rather than making new videos because it's just going to take a while to just make more videos based on updates, internet. So um, that'll be it for today, guys. Um, uh, Thanks for joining this update. Thanks for listening. I'll see what I can do next. Jane Poop is out. See you guys next time. Bye!